Number five, cook with your child to develop literacy. Cook with your child. Do you cook with your children? Anybody cook? Uh, yes. What's cook in Spanish? Yes. Cook. 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 Yeah. Do you cook with your children? Yeah. 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 Why is cooking a good literacy activity? Why is cooking good for English or for literacy? Why? Because we can read the recipe. Yes. And, and you know, my son, one day he asked me, Mommy, can you teach me how can I make a coffee? And, <laughs> coffee? Yeah. And, and I told him, yes, and I can explain you. And he took a piece of paper and a pencil and he write down how to make a coffee. That's great. That's great. When you cook, why is cooking a good thing to do with your child? What are you doing when you're cooking? Are you talking? Talking to his children. And you're doing things like explaining. Okay. Explaining. So you're explaining. This is how I make coffee. Explaining. First I do this, and I do this. So you're teaching them lots of things about steps. First this, next, next, next. Okay, so, and it's so much fun. Okay? So, and number six, number six, explore books together. Explore. Oh, did we miss number four? Yeah. Oh, number four, reading and writing. Yeah, number five was cook. Mm -hmm. And number six, explore books together. That word explore. Can you tell me what, what do I mean by explore? Mm -hmm. Explore. Anybody explain explore? Take your, Take your time, but yeah, but also, let me, I'll show you what Explore is. If I said, I have never seen this book. This book is new for me. Let's, let's find out about this book together, okay? We'll explore the book means we'll look at the pictures, we'll look at the words, we'll look at the front, we'll look at the back, and we'll decide, is this a good book? Do we want to read this book? So with your child, you can pick some books, your child can pick some books, and together you can pick some books. Okay. So we have a few more on the back. Number seven. Tell stories together. So no books. <laughs> no books right now. Tell. What do we mean by tell stories? I love to tell. Tell. Tell stories. Do you tell stories? Yes. What kind of stories? Tell me. <laughs> tell me. My family, my country. Your family, your country. My city. It's beautiful. It is the fruits, the colors. It's my son. It's mommy one and one pregnant. Mommy who is one. My dad, my daddy, he is happy. So you tell about your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The neighborhood. The neighborhood? No. No, when my one part of one cesarea. Oh, says, your mommy, operation. I'm sorry yeah. for you. Oh. Oh. Oh, so so you really, he's, he's yes, mommy, please. sharing all kinds mm. of stuff. <laughs> mommy, please. Mommy. Yeah. 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 Another. He wants mm -hmm. another one. Yeah. We're talking about telling stories mm -hmm. and what kinds of stories we tell to our children. So you can tell your children, make them up. In the car, when, it's, mm -hmm. when you're in traffic, <laughs> and your kids are, mommy, mommy. Let me tell you a story. And you can be quiet. Yeah. It's, 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 it helps. That's a, I really it's like that. Yeah, you just it's okay. And even if you don't think you're good, you just you just it doesn't matter. Your kids will love it. Or they could help you make a story. Yeah. You can start. Yeah. 
and yeah. then ask them, and what do you think happened? And you'll see because children's imaginations. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. absolutely. Right? Yeah. Try it at home. I think you yeah. try it at home when you go home and start. There, once yeah. upon a time, once upon there a was time. there was a what? A cow? Yeah. yeah. Prince, <laughs> a prince of what? Once upon a time, there was. What do you think? Princess. A princess. <laughs> Once upon a time there was a princess. And look nice. Let's see. This princess was cooking in her castle. And what happened? <laughs> what happened? You see? You just dragon. Oh, oh and a dragon, dragon came. <laughs> Maria. Once upon a time, there was a princess, and the princess was cooking in the castle. Big dragon came, and he knocked on the door, and he said, Princess, I'm really hungry. <laughs> Something smells good. Something smells good. And what happened? But she didn't open the door. Oh, oh this horns is good. Wow, loose. So, this hungry dragon comes and knocks on the door, but the princess? Didn't open it. What I'm happened? Sorry. The princess uh, is not open the door. The dragon is silent. Silent. No, no, having nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> so did he go away? Did the dragon go to another house? No, no, no. no? Sorry, no. The dragon is. He won the princess. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon is, is it? My cookies, no. <laughs> oh, God. So, and, then, and what do you think? What happened? The end. How did it end? Coloring Colorado. Yeah, Coloring Colorado. Este cuento? Se acaba. Se acaba. How? Yeah. What do you think? Did the dragon, did the dragon and the princess make friends? Yes. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the dragon dinner? ate the princess. No. <laughs> it was he was a nice dragon. So see, you could do you this. can do it. That's great. <laughs> number eight. We're almost done with these. Number eight. Can somebody read number eight? Read with your child. Okay, so read with your child, but also this right. one's yeah. writing. Write with your child. What could you write with your child? What could you write together? Sometimes when my daughter, um, she can write um, well, I read and she has to write and they, I have to check if she did it well. Or yeah, so it's good practice, so she, so you write, so she writes and then you read it back uh -huh. to her? Yeah, you could write each other's stories. You know how we do dialogue journals with, with the, in class, we, you write to us and we write to you? You could do that with your child. Leave it under his pillow. Just every morning he has a surprise, a little. I, I did that with something. my son when I was on vacation. Yeah. yeah. And I wrote a note for my son and I put the note under his pillow and then I say, come and lie down. Yeah. And, and and say, check what is under your feeling here. Fabulous. The note here. And then the last part you say, write back to me. Write to me. And yeah. then your child will write something back to you. It's fine. Yeah, he wrote the answer. Yeah, oh, that's great. <laughs> that's great. What are you, when you do that with your child, why does that help them with reading and writing? Why is that a helpful thing to do? It's fun, but it's also really helpful. We talk about this a lot, about talking with the teacher. Communicate regularly. Regularly is like routine. Regular routine. It's like once a week, maybe every few days. Call the teacher. How is my child doing? How is he? Is everything OK? Mm -hmm. Sometimes the teacher gets really busy, and they don't always call you because they're very busy, 25 kids. So you call them, or when you pick up your child, you can say, how's he doing? How's his reading? We're reading at home now. Is that helping? We're writing notes. Is it, do you see change? Is it helping? OK? And then the last one we've already talked about. Who can read the last one for you? You can read it with me. Visit the library, the library often. 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 So often, regularly, routine, 
They're all about doing it a lot, all the time. Often, you know, understand often. Often means every week, every, maybe every few days. And tips for school age children, reading aloud. So before we leave today, let's all try to write, we'll try to write some things here, okay?